from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this 10 News update. A Marine stationed at Marine Corps Air Station Miramar testing positive for coronavirus. Officials familiar with the matter say the Marine was visiting his family in Washington while on leave, and that's where they believe that he contracted the virus. Marine is quarantined at home, off base. All Marines are being told if they experience flu symptoms to stay home and call medical. Local religious group is finding a new way to scale down their services after the governor told groups to postpone large meetings. Rock Church says on average they get more than 12,000 people each week. It says it will now limit how many people attend worship services at their main building and will direct people to their website where the services will be streamed. The church says it is also wiping everything down and asking people not to shake hands. Well, in light of Governor Newsom's directive on limiting large gatherings, the San Diego Half Marathon announcing this Sunday's event will be virtual only. That means runners will not be gathering for the event Sunday morning, but will have the option to complete the distance on their own. While many support the decision to cancel, they're upset that it doesn't appear there's going to be any refunds. Half Marathon organizers say that they're a nonprofit and that money has already been spent on T-shirts and medals. And they say they are looking into options to benefit participants for next year. Time now to get a check on our weather, which has been pretty active today. That's right. We've had some heavy rain. We've had flooding. There are flood advisories in effect, and there are flash flood warnings in effect for the desert areas. Those go until 3 p.m. The flash flood watch, which means there could be more warnings, will be in effect for the mountain and desert areas until 9 p.m. today. So localized flooding. We've been seeing quite a bit of heavy rain. We'll continue to see rain as we head into the afternoon. Should see things tapering off by late evening, or should say late afternoon afternoon into the evening. 60s for most of the county today, 50s in the mountains. On and off showers tomorrow, but it won't be as widespread or as heavy. Most of the weekend will be dry and another chance for rain next week with a much colder storm coming in. Jim? Megan, thank you. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.